Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Faulkner, and welcome to Village Core, where we live our mission, which is to connect, share, learn, and build intergenerational connections for mutual learning. This is a place where senior wisdom and youth tech minds join forces in order to bring you meetings like this. Today, we'll be discovering FaceTime and how you can utilize it to make calls that are real time, seeing the other person from wherever you are, and also having the ability to share things over the FaceTime app that you can use. FaceTime is exclusive to Apple, but they are coming out with features that will allow both Android users and Apple users to create a link and join a FaceTime, just as you would be able to here through across both devices. So that will be coming out eventually, but for right now, FaceTime is just Apple device ex exclusive. So what we have here is the FaceTime app. Typically all phones, all, uh, all iPads, all MacBooks, basically any any device that you have that is Apple related will come with this app pre-installed on it. FaceTime is allows you to connect with your contacts, whether it's your friends, your families, your, your family, your coworkers, um, anybody who you whose number you have, and allows you to join a call that is um, that is face to face in front of the person, kind of like we are on the Zoom meeting on the Zoom meeting right now. So the way that it works is we have a couple options here. We have the name of the contact. Um, so this is Simon Cranwell. And we have the end button, which means you hang up the call. And then you have the text button. The text button means that you can text anybody or you can text the person that you're talking to. There's also the uh, speaker icon, which means that you are listening to the person and that your sound is on. There's the... Um, there's the microphone icon, which allows you to mute yourself, the video, the video icon, which allows you to uh, shut off your video. And then the unique feature of FaceTime, uh, there is the share icon. The share icon allows you to share whatever screen or app that you have open within your phone. So here, due to FaceTime being compatible with different apps that are utilized by Apple or um, other apps that are uh, that are in the Apple Store, you can share. Um, you can do what's called share play and share the app with the other person on the other side. So this means that these two people right here are watching Ted Lasso through FaceTime together. You can zoom it in, you can watch the show, or you can see what the other person's reaction to just like this while watching the show together. There's also the option on FaceTime to blur your background. If you're in a space where you don't necessarily want people to see your background or what's going on behind you, you can blur the background so that the image solely focuses on you and only focuses on what's important, which is your face on that screen. So that means that the people that the people viewing you on the FaceTime, your the person viewing you on the FaceTime will not see exactly what's going on behind you, but rather a distorted image because the clarity is focusing on you. You can also share articles via FaceTime. So you can share different things like um, like different recipes. You can share a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, you can collaborate on different projects with FaceTime. Um, and this is just over the phone function. There are other functions of FaceTime across different devices that you can utilize as well. There's also emojis that you can use with FaceTime. So you can use it with newer devices. I believe it's from the uh, iPhone 11 and up. You can utilize what's called facial tracking where it'll track your face to the emoji. So the emoji that you present yourself, like this person right here, it's tracking to their facial movements, which means that anytime they speak, the emoji speaks. Anytime that they do a gesture, the emoji does a gesture. Anytime the emoji blinks, uh, the emoji blinks, which is a really cool way just to have fun with your friends and kind of create your own different style on FaceTime. You can have um, different characters and icons, like you can have an elephant character, a monkey character, um, a penguin character, and it kind of just allows you to have that creative side as well. And then here we can also have group FaceTime calls as well. So it doesn't have to just be across uh, two individuals. It can be across as many individuals as you want that can fit within FaceTime. FaceTimes are uh, FaceTimes also don't have any limits on them. So this means that all FaceTimes can actually last however long you want them to be. This means that FaceTimes can be 10 hours long. They can be 32 hours long. They can be even longer than that, depending on how long you want to continue on your FaceTime. But it's just a cool way to have access to seeing each other um, and have access to basically talking to each other 
um, and seeing each other's faces face to face. On iPad, it's a little different because on iPad, it's a wider screen. So on iPad, we have a horizontal view, which allows us to see, or yeah, which allows us to see uh, all the stuff that is going on here. Um, so we have the movie here that we can see once again is uh, bigger. You can also do this with group FaceTime calls, or you can have a bunch of different people in your FaceTime call that allow you to collaborate and connect with other people in your workspace, um, in your family. Let's say you guys weren't be able to meet up for Thanksgiving this year. You guys can do Thanksgiving over a FaceTime call. And then once again, you can have that uh, vertical view of the person as well. FaceTime as well as the, on the computer is different. So here, what's gonna pop up for me is my camera and your view of me. So in the back, of course, thankfully the cleaning lady came today, so my room is clean. But what we can see here is the FaceTime app. It is tracking onto my camera right now and I can see myself and my face. In order to start a FaceTime, what I can do is I can create a new FaceTime and, and out of all the contacts within my phone, I can pick the person who I want to call. So if I want to call my mom, I can pick that, I can pick that option and I can FaceTime her. Um, and then through all my contacts here, I can bring it up and FaceTime them as well. If somebody isn't necessarily using FaceTime or uh, isn't really able to join uh, through this function here by just simply ringing them, I can actually uh, create a link and this link will take me to the FaceTime directly. So if I were to paste this link here, it would say, do you want to open FaceTime? Request to join this FaceTime and I could say open FaceTime. Of course, I'm the one who actually created the FaceTime. So right now I'm basically in a FaceTime with myself. So now that we join this FaceTime, it's gonna bug out on itself because it's connecting through two, through three different cameras. But what we have are the functions down here. This is what I wanted to show you. So we have the desk view of what we're seeing. Um, I can minimize it, I can make it smaller. Um, I can make sure that I'm doing work as well. You can see all this here, it's really bugging out on me. Okay, so we have the desk view. I can write stuff, I can do my work. Um, I can make it bigger to see the other people on my screen. And then of course, as well, what I can do um, is do that share play um, where I can share, where I can share my screen. Everybody can see what I'm doing. I can set portrait mode. I can do studio, studio lighting, which means the lighting around me changes. Um, to match the fun to match basically the lighting around me. So with this studio lighting off, the lighting isn't accurate. But if I turn studio lighting on, the lighting is accurate because it matches the shadows and all. I can do portrait mode where it's only focusing on my face. So we have once again um, that blurred background, and then I can also minimize reactions. Like I think it's I don't think it's gonna work, but some of the reactions um, are functional as well that you do. You can customize your mic. So uh, since I'm doing this on the computer, my mic um, can connect to, let's say I have another mic next to me, I can connect it to that. And then we can uh, listen in on the conversation and talk to each other through that microphone function as well. The text icon, once again, can text different people um, that you choose within the FaceTime or uh, simply by bringing, bringing it up and talking to the person uh, through text. But for now, we're just gonna so it just doesn't make it complicated. So here we have the blurred background. You can see the blurred background around me. This just makes it so people can't see what's behind me or what's going on in my background. But when you do this uh, FaceTime link, um, what you'll do is you'll add in your name and join the conversation like that. So this means that other people within the call, just like a Zoom meeting, would be able to will be able to know who you are um, and be able to talk to you through the FaceTime app. Uh, FaceTime is not uh, only exclusive to both phones, iPads, and computers. Since the new Apple Vision Pro came out, FaceTime is also on that. It's a little bit more complex on the Apple Vision Pro because there's a lot more features that it can use. With the Apple Vision Pro and Apple um, uh, combining together, what it can do is essentially it can map out an area. Let's see where it is. Where is it? Where is it? It can map out an area, here we go, where you can talk to your coworkers or whoever your family is in the same space while also viewing another screen. So this means that meetings are more meaningful. 
The reason for it is because with all the technology and all the components within the Apple Vision Pro, it means that it can create a render of your face um, that allows you to basically have an avatar that is speaking to the other person. It's through the power of AI and all the sensors that are inside of this thing. So you can be in the same room talking to people. They won't see that you have the headset on. They'll just see it as you just talking to them um, as normal. Um, and then you'll be able to work on the side as well and get all your work done in that way. So let's see if I can find a better example. Mm, here we go. So here we have it. So in FaceTime, each participant appears in your space um, within a tile that you can adjust scale. Um, spatial audio makes the conversation feel like more natural by, by placing each person's voice in a location of their title or their tile. Um, your digital persona allows you to see, uh, allows you, uh, allows other to, others to see you while you're wearing the Apple Vision Pro. So this is the functionality of AI with the Apple Vision Pro, where it allows you to take a look at yourself without the thing on, um, and people can see your face in real time as well. So here we have, while on FaceTime, a uh, spatial pers persona, uh, persona allows you and your friends to move freely throughout the space and work well together. So this is a really cool function. Is it's, it's like basically giving a meeting to somebody in person, except you're doing it through a headset. So we can see that these uh, people's AIs are basically having conversation and pointing directly to the screen. And this is all through the FaceTime app. This is no, this is not another, um, <clears throat> this is not the MetaQuest or any other VR headset. This is all solely through FaceTime and Apple and the Apple Vision Pro. And it also makes it easy to kind of show people what you're doing. Um, and then also allows you to see uh, your, it allows you to see your surroundings as well. So FaceTime is a really cool app that can um, be across all devices. Um, no matter what Apple device you're on, you can connect to any FaceTime calls and make any calls that you uh, that you want across this as well. You can also access FaceTime through your contacts. So if I were to go to my contacts here, let's take my friend August here uh, for a second. Oops, why is this? Uh, why is this? Okay, well, let's take, uh, let's go back to my contacts actually. One second, my computer is being weird. Okay, so here in my contacts, why is it not? Okay, we're just gonna quit contacts real quick. We're gonna force quit it, I guess. Well, here, I'll show it this way. Through text messages, here we go. So let's say I want to talk to my friend Patrick, right? We're having a conversation. We're doing uh, all the we're doing all this talking, right? And since I want to have a conversation with him, um, I can call him through the FaceTime function here, um, and it has a video function, and that's how you know that you're connecting through a FaceTime um, link there with him uh, or with any contact that you have through FaceTime. So once again, in order to create a FaceTime, in order to uh, do anything on FaceTime, you need to have the app, which comes with all Apple products. So you don't need to worry about going to the Apple store and downloading it because it should already be on your phone. If it's not in your phone, then that's an issue and you can download it through the App Store. Um, but it's a really it's a really nice app to have, to have more personalized conversations with the people around you. Um, in, in, a, in a space where you guys can collaborate on different projects and also just have fun with each other, watching different shows and other things like that. So FaceTime is different across all devices, but at the same time is the, is the same in the same way that you can see each other face-to-face, -face, just like on a regular uh, Zoom meeting or anything like that. So other than that, I have nothing else to add. Once again, my name is Brandon Faulkner. I want to thank you all for connecting, sharing, and learning today. Um, be sure to check out our website at villagecore.org, where you can keep up to date on all our past and future meetings that we have and find out more about Village Core. 
And you can also check out our YouTube channel, which is called at VillageCore channel, where you'll be able to see all the past meetings that we've posted and all the future meetings that are coming out um, eventually. So you can stay up to date with all our expert presentations and other things like that. So once again, thanks so much for watching.